Hello again, welcome to the next Let's Build on my channel. Um, this one's gonna be pretty in depth and if you've been following along, we've started kind of at a simple foundation to get up and running with Rails and Ruby, but in this sense, we're gonna kind of build a more realistic modern app and we'll be using different technologies to do different things. But I, I made this, it's basically a project management app. I couldn't think of a clever name, so I just replaced the C in the word project with K in this case. So uh, feel free to customize that naming convention to whatever you want, but if you're following along, it might be best to just keep it for now and then redo it later. This series could be a long one simply because there's a lot going on. Um, I've used technologies such as Vue.js in this one, a crazy WYSIWYG editor for a project's uh, UI, and of course user authentication, um, forms, and just generally it's a, a project management app that uh, you can create projects and belong to a team and then everyone is associated with something. So to give you a perspective, I've already created a user. I'll show you the difference um, than the last apps we've been doing is as we go, I'll create a new user after I log in and show you the other stuff. Basically logging in is we're using Devise as we did in the last series, of course, and it is a, a useful gem that just saves a ton of time in terms of user levels and logging in, logging out, authentication, all that stuff. Um, so we're kind of using that. I'm changing it a bit in this sense that to, to actually sign up, you only need an email and password or email and name, and then your account gets confirmed. So part of Devise, there's an adapter which you can enable uh, unless you confirm a user by their by an actual email link so they get sent a link in the email they have to click it and it has a token and if that to token matches what's on the app side uh, the user gets granted access and then they can prompt be prompted to add their password from there on so rather than doing it all at once i'm doing it this way and so why don't i first sign in i'll show you really what's going on so email, I've got so many emails. And we're using Bulma again in this series simply because it's a framework, it's easy to use, it's just scalable, and I actually like it over Bootstrap or something, even though Bootstrap is probably a little more verbose. So when you're first entering the app, this is what it looks like. You're greeted by this little welcome message. You have so, sort of a Trello-like board structure going on if you've used Trello before. Uh, but this app is kind of inspired by Trello and Basecamp. If, if you're familiar with Basecamp, those guys created Ruby on Rails. So if you're following along, that's a place to look for inspiration for sure. In the sense of this app, it's not like complete by any means, but my goal is to just create something to where it actually performed a realistic function for day-to-day -day stuff. So in this case, it's you have a team that you can create, you can belong to a team, add different members based on the users that you send invites to. And then within that, you can create projects which are associated with teams. And then anytime you do something, there's an activity panel that shows your own actions to the right here. That's just kind of for flair. I was curious to see what I could do with this side. <laughs> so this, this app itself was kind of a doozy because I am beginning learning um, Vue.js and getting that to play with Rails is kind of its own challenge. Uh, but there is this neat extension when you do start a new Rails app, which I'll show you, where you can enable it to use uh, all these build tools. One, one's called Webpack and it has a port of Vue.js, which we'll use when we start running a brand new app. It's basically just cool for the sake of doing what's known as nested forms in Rails. And generally on a typical record or model, however you want to describe it, you have access to what you define, uh, but sometimes you need a form within a form in that sense. So this is where that comes in. So to put it in perspective, if you have a team and you want projects inside that team, that this is how that's done. But in my case, I did teams and then here you create a new team, uh, I'll call it Web Crunch, and here's a bit of Vue.js going on, some of that data binding. And say you wanna add a few users, you can click that to add, it'll show up over here. I've already created my first account, so I'll just create some test ones here, just to show you 
example.com add a user John Smith it's kind of like my default test email right there I don't know why um, a neat little hack I did too is if you could if you scroll too far it the right side fixates and just kind of goes with you just simply because the UX would be terrible if you had to you know add 20 people to this list at once and even doing that you could do it in a better manner so when I hit create team this is going to actually do the devise creation method on these users here and in the sense it's creating their accounts and they'll need to go confirm them and Sadly, this is limiting in a, in a you know degree because with Devise, you can't quite manage users yet. So I can't add users to things without you know creating a new account first. So if you were to roll something like this on your own, and it might not make sense yet because it's such, such a big app that I'm building already that you can't add more than one user to one team at this point with this app, which is kind of crummy, but it's more for show more for example at this point so with a team you might do projects inside the team and then with users you could either extend devise uh, yourself or create your own user authentication which is honestly possible it's just a lot of work so i don't really want to reinvent the wheel since devise gives us a lot of the functionality out of the box uh, so you'll have to forgive me there, but I'm going to remove this one for now. And you can see this is this is all Vue.js doing its you know data real time magic stuff's getting added and, and rendered in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and create this team. It's going to send two emails, which are to Andy at example.com and jsmitty at gmail.com. And I'm using a service locally called Mailcatcher, which you'll see I have one when I first created that first account which is my main one here this is what gets sent and you can style these however you want though they're actually they come bundled with device when you install it for now I'm not even worrying about emails but essentially you click this confirm my account link and you get sent to the browser and it shows a form to enter your password for your account so that'll do the same for these two people so I'm gonna do that now and it redirects to the team page in this case. So a team page will show the title, the members, and if there's any active projects. And if there aren't, you can add one. You can edit this team, of course. So we're back to that same form. You can hit cancel and just go back to here. And back will take you back to the root path. To confirm those accounts and say log in as that user, I'll do andy at example.com for now. I can confirm that just to show you. We'll go in, you can choose your password and click activate. And then when I add my account, since I was invited to that team, it shows up here. So that's pretty cool. And it shows all the members. And then we're back to that view with all the teams again. And if I want to create a project, um, here I'm, I'm Andy Leverance and it's Andy at example.com just to show you that this is that account. And if I want to create a new project, I can I'll do a new project, um, web crunch first project. And this is a cool gem that I installed. I can't remember the name, but it's like WYSIWYG Rails, if you will get into it. But it's kind of just plug and play. So that's the cool thing about it. I didn't have to code a lot to get this to work. And it's got this sweet little quick insert button to the left. But you can just add a bunch of content here, like, I don't know, text. <laughs> Let me get, I think I have an app I like to use, little Ipsum. Uh, let's get some text, just add a bunch for now, and then we can maybe add an image. So this hooks into Rails and does all the magic that you would normally have to, like, do yourself to get to work like actually adding images all this stuff these are just some examples to start with so maybe we can add this candy and you can scale this however want big you want I think it's center now I'm gonna line left just for grins and of course for the project you can have this set to your team by default if you really wanted to get fancy but I'm gonna keep it there just because I honestly ran out of time to make that work so 
I'll just hit create project and we'll get redirected to that project. So that project shows our team below, which has a link to the team. It shows the first project we created. I'm the person that created it. If another user created it, it would show their name um, and it'll show us when it was last modified. You can edit and delete it. And then here's the project in real form. So this gets rendered as HTML and we can do that with Rails, just passing a simple raw parameter or HTML safe getting into details there we'll we'll get to that once we get to it but that's essentially the app and going back to the beginning you can see i created a project my team showing up here if i created a team it would show up there but i didn't create that team so if i logged into my other account it should show i can verify that so my my main one that i was first logged in was this one, I believe. And yeah, so I created that team and then you'll still see the fact that I'm on this project since it belongs to this team. So that's pretty nifty too. So anyone creates a project that belongs to the team, the whole team can see it. The same is true for the, the team, of course. That's about it, a lot to cover. The biggest hurdle for me in this, in this project was honestly this creating a team form. I spent quite some time just trying to get view and rails to play nicely and also this com confirmation thinking about how these users can you know be added to a team using devise but still being limited to the fact that you can't really manage users that well with device so i can't just go in and delete users right now i can manually if i go into rails console or something but that's not realistic so I'd probably have to roll my own kind of solution with that. And I honestly, for the sake of the demo, I just didn't have time. Uh, I've got, you know, the day job and all that stuff in the, in the way. So if I, if I did this full time and had support, it would be completely different. But I think this is a good foundation to kind of scale up something a little more modern in this case. So our past projects have been more basic, getting your feet wet. And this one's kind of, kind of make you have to think. So. Uh, all the relationships and stuff with projects, teams, and users is, is a big brain twist, but I'm, I'm looking forward to show you how I make it work. And you'll probably see me stumble along the way, even though I've already built this. It's just a lot to cover, a lot to remember. So the whole time as I'm doing it, I'm still learning as well. So, you know, bear with me, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I will see you in the very next video to kick things off.